It almost sounds like Windows 10, yeah. That, that was like your classic Squaresoft menu noise right there. It's reoriented my microphone. Take a bite of the foods. All right. Now we can... Oh, it's happening again. Why is this happening again? Hold on. I wonder... What? What the heck is going on? Down right. Okay, something something is going horribly wrong here. So I gotta fix it. B A X Y. Start. Oops. No. Wait. Wait. Select. Hold on. Stars. Select. L R. Up left. Up right. Down right. Down left. Okay. Then why is it? What the hell is going on? I wonder if it's because of this. I think I know what's happening. No, 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 no. It might be because I changed the setting that is all the background input and everything. Sorry, is I know this is kind of annoying, but I have to fix this if I can play this damn game. What the hell's going on? Whoa! Stop it. Do I have to go get my other DualShock? My other DualShock doesn't work. Reset the game. Wow, this uh, this is really strange. This didn't happen earlier. Down is not supposed to... What the hell? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. Be right back, folks. That didn't work. Okay, so this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to. This has happened before. We haven't defeated the file select after we, yeah, we, we started streaming 21 minutes ago and we haven't even gotten through this. Yeah, this is actually really frustrating. So, I need to... Do this. Because I may need to switch to a Dual Shock 4, as a matter of fact. So give me just one sec.
Okay. We may have averted the crisis. No, we, we have not. What is going on? All right. I need to restart my computer. Sorry, I got to stop the stream and restart everything. I don't know what's happening, but I just installed a new controller. And whenever I press down, it goes up. Whenever I press up, it goes up and down and everything. Wait a minute. Hold on. And I'm also getting no audio from the game. Wait, what? Headset earphone? Excuse me? No. What? Try that again. Wow. I can't believe this is... It's actually been a long, long time since we've had... There we go. What I really need is just an Xbox 360 controller. <laughs> I mean, DK bongos would be amazing. Alright, guys. It appears as though crisis has been averted. Oh, boy. I'm no longer using a PS3 controller for this. I'm now using my PS4 controller for the things that I need. So, welcome to Chrono Trigger. We've been streaming for 27 minutes, and we finally just started the game. So, we left off defeating the giant boner. My son's legendary hero must have been on that oatmeal, and to think that I'm his father. Fun. Well, luckily Chrono Trigger is one of those games where you can accomplish a lot of stuff in a very short span of time. Now, where is Tots? I believe he's in a forest. The magic cave lies under a mountain east of Denadoro. I've been there. It's the bed is a treasure box. Open it and the contents are yours. I cannot open those yet. Hold on. There we go. Oh, good. Still have the background thing selected. Cool. All right. No interruptions, no nothing. Fiona's Vila. Cool thing about the PC to GameCube adapter is it also works with the Wii U and the Switch, but it wasn't even intended for Switch, so it works with a few unintended things. Yeah, I did hear about that. Huh. I kind of want to see what's in these chests. Weird thing to have on a treasure test. Still, still see what it actually has. It has both those things. It's kind of a rare thing to have. Usually, you don't have two things in a treasure chest in this game.
Okay, where the hell is this guy? Um, remember. Oh, the forest is over here. That's right. Mm-hmm. 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 Cursed woods. Those are some cursed frogs. The mid tonic. Oh, hello. Have I ever played Sonic Boom? No, but I watched somebody play an entire eight hour playthrough of it on Christmas. Now that was comedy. Have I felt pain? See, I. I considered doing that for my second Sonic month. But then I watched that playthrough and I'm like, I don't need to play that. I don't need to spend my money. I don't need to play that game. There's literally no reason for me to play that game. I've seen everything I need to see. My god. I should have grabbed Robo for this. Apparently Fire and Ice is the most polished one in the series, and it's still crap. Doesn't it have, like, the most 2D sections in it, too? the snake. Oh, it, it, it is a 2D game. Okay. Seven point five out of ten on IGN. It's not bad. I mean, literally not bad. That's like in the good range. Oh, this feels much better than using the PS3 controller. It just fits my hand better. Look, looks like I'm using the PS4 controller from here on out until I get a 360 controller, which should be soon. It's one of my next investments. Force has got a 6.9. That's a pr that's like a pretty reasonable score for that, I think. It's like a purely fair game. sort of antipode, but gives me a little bit more versatility for the time being. Rocket punch. This thing likes to counterattack quite a bit. Every attack, Jesus. Other than 3DS 2D boom the game was Shattered Crystal got a 4 out of 10, so they improved. Huh. Oh. Who got Fire Punch? 
So yeah, it's good to switch people out every once in a while so you can learn the different techs. We have a lot of frogs here. What's it alluding to? for Rocket Roll. I think Rocket Roll is a lightning-based attack? Is that... I don't remember seeing that. Attack the snakes first and they'll kill off the toads. Well, the toad's about to die anyway, so... Nope, oh, that works. Good call. It's a subterranean home. Who's there? It's our boy. Or should I say, it's that boy. To Steak Hordo, thou art here to practice thy skill in swordplay? It's the frog. What? The king has been injured? I see. Snary a thing I can't stew. Please be on thy way. Oh no, sadness. The hero I am not. I can do not. There's something about a frog with a baritone that just man, makes me happy. I don't know why. He can do not. But I will steal his magic scarf. What does that do? Just magic plus two. Yeah. Figure out what to do with that later. And is there something I do with him right now? Or... Oh. Did I figure out how to rename Robo to Isaac? No, not yet. Sure, I'll fight things. She'll attack Snake. Oh yeah, damn. Super good call. I didn't even know about that. But of course he heals himself, but at least it gets rid of other enemies that are annoying and counterattack with every hit. Let's see, where are we with tech stuff? Spin cut, need 72, robo tackle need 10, napalm need 72. something. Now I'll just counter the blue rain. Murder. Murder your friends. I mean, I'd probably kill some frogs, too, if I got hit by some red-haired dude, some scientist lady and a robot that wandered into my forest.
anything fun happen lately? Like, either actually fun or sarcastically fun? Oh, God. Um, well... If you want to call switching medications fun, then sure. I'm in the middle of that. I'm sleeping a lot. Like, a lot. Like, you know how I kept saying I, like, suffered from insomnia? For months and months and months? Yeah, that's not happening anymore. Now I can sleep perfectly well, that's great. To the point where it's like, can I just stop fucking sleeping, please? Also... Um... I don't know, It's it's been a very quiet... ...month, for the most part. But... I am... It's, it's funny, like, I... I got invited out... ...with friends tonight. And it made me really think about how long it's been since I've actually been out with friends. Like, I've hung out with friends, like, during the day. Like, it's been like, oh, yeah, well, you know, we'll hang out for a couple of hours. Like, I'm streaming later, but yeah, you know, I have... I have some time. Oh, yeah, the Denodora Mountains, right here. But, like, going out out with friends, it's... It's been kind of a long time. But it's not really going to be, like, much of an endeavor. One of the friends that I'm going out with tonight is somebody who is essentially a brother of mine. And the other person who is a girl that I work with. And I haven't hung out with her before tonight, but... Like, we have a lot in common, so that should be fun. And I guess this other friend of mine, who was actually my bass player, and I've known him for ages, like, he's hung out with her and her girlfriend on a number of occasions, and so it should be pretty fun. But it's like... Okay, so... Like, with all the bad shit that's happened to me in the last year or so, like, I have these weird anxieties about going out to random places where I live. Because I live in, a, like, a decent-sized city, but it's also kind of a small town at the same time. And so one of my anxieties is that I'm gonna run into my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Because that's, like, a very likely scenario anywhere. <coughs> oh, God. But it's also probably not gonna happen. I just saved the hero. But it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have myself a nice cider. I'm gonna have a couple of bunless hot dogs with... All kinds of elaborate toppings. This is a terrible place. You, you best run away while you can. Save me some hot dogs. Wow. Murder. Sonic 06 is a 10 out of 10 on Tech Raptor. That was made April 1st and is actually popping up when you search up Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. Oh, that's amazing. This one's kind of tough. There you go. Bye bye. There we go, now it takes the damage. Just gotta burn away the burn away the hammer. Oh yeah, I tell you what. I will upload something real quick to Google Google Drive so I can download it on my computer and show it to you. It's a a very quick exchange that I had between me and my landlord last night. If 
you're looking for funny stories, this will be one. Okay, you're sleeping, and you are not waking up, but you will. Yep, there it is. Get rid of you. Get rid of your hammer. Now you don't come here for humor that isn't dry. No, this is pretty this is pretty good. Because you'll read my tweet and you'll be like, no, that's exactly what Sean would say. That's exactly how Sean would phrase such a such a, a message to his landlord about this kind of situation. So as soon as we're out of this battle, I will show it to you. Alright. It's all uploaded. Let me just pull it down real quick. We will replace Hulk Hogan's chin face with... I'm glad that people recognize that this stream is a dry stream. So, this was an exchange between me and my landlord. A very, very quick exchange, mind you. This is about 11.45 last night. This is the message that I sent her. So yeah, that's been going on for several months. Not every day, but at least like once every couple of weeks, I will hear something akin to that. And so last night I was just I was just trying to watch the Vine Sauce Sunday stream. And the funny thing about Sunday streams is that when you're watching something weird like that, you don't really know if what you're hearing is something that's in the game or something that is coming from the living room on the other side of the wall. In this case, it was coming from the living room on the other side of the wall. And so I just muted... I muted the game, or I muted the stream real quick. And sure enough... Um... It was... it was... a set of sounds. And there was also a couch vibrating against the wall. And this had happened like more than a dozen times, probably a couple of dozen times in many, many months. And so I had had enough. And I had actually complained a handful of times about his music and other such things. And she had spoken to him in the past. And so I'm like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not going to... I don't need to listen to this, like, I already have my TV turned up, like, well past a normal volume, like, volume for, like, comfort. And I can still hear the sound of his girlfriend moaning. Like, so this is bullshit. And the best thing about it is her response came within minutes, like, a few minutes. So she was up and she was ready. She was ready to message the dude, like, mid-bone. Which blew my mind. She had no problem doing this. So... But long story short, I love my landlord.
but currently I'm uh, <laughs> kind of, not kind of, but kind of trying to get the dude kicked out for noise so my, I can get my friend moved in instead because she's looking for a place to live. Gold helmet? What? Ooh, what are we defense-wise? I'm 79, 79. Okay, you have to... There's a way of doing such things, and, uh... Complaining about noise is a perfectly valid way of doing it when it's excessive. And I'm very lucky to have somebody who lives on the other side of me who has had to deal with his noise as well, because he gets up at 6 in the morning and blasts his music. Which he seems to no longer do, but he did for a while. And that's a big no-no, because it's outside quiet hours. And on my end, he was blasting it so loud that I could hear the lyrics through my kitchen wall. So, it was, a, it was a problem. So, I complained. She complained. And my landlord did something about it. Told him that was enough. And so, now this kind of stuff is happening after she told him that that was quote-unquote enough. So, now he gets to deal with knowing that his neighbor can hear the deed occurring in his living room next door. And I would say that he has no idea that he's making as much noise as he is, but he doesn't care. Because the first time he was being so problematic, I actually knocked on his door and talked to him. I was like, I'm going to talk to this dude before I make a stink about it with the landlord. And so I talked to him. I'm like, do you have any idea how much noise you're making? He's like, oh no, Like, I, I, I thought that the bricks insulated the noise. I'm like, first of all, I, I didn't say this, but I'm like, First of all, this motherfucker knows nothing about sound insulation. Like, bricks are one of the worst things for insulating sound. They're one of the worst things for insulating sound. Sound literally fucking reflects all over the place with brick. But I'm like, okay, so... This guy knows nothing about acoustics, that's fine. I don't expect people to know anything about that kind of shit. But, um... Then I'm like, I didn't want to come over here and just be a douchebag about it. I just wanted to, like, talk to you face to face and... Like, just... Let you know that I can hear the lyrics through my kitchen wall of your music and... I just wanted to ask you to please, like, keep it down a little bit. And he's like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll make sure to keep it down next time. And then he introduced himself to me, and, you know, he was super chill about it. Barely quiet for two weeks. Two weeks later, went back to the same goddamn volume. I'm like, okay, talking to the landlord now. And, uh, yep, I don't, I don't speak to the guy anymore. But luckily, the place where I live is a month-to-month -month place, so if he were to repeatedly quote-unquote break certain clauses of his lease, like a noise clause, then he could technically be given a 10-day compliance order. And if he doesn't comply, then... He can be kicked out. Or if he complies and then continues to be a problem, then he can be kicked out. So, fun, fun times. Fun apartment lifetimes.
You got almost all the Werehog sprites for your Mania mod done. Nice. You worked quickly with that, man. Isaac leveled up. Wait, what, what? Okay. Hey, how about no? Oh, you're using the pre-existing Sonic 3 mobile, oh, oh, or the uh, Unleashed mobile sprites, so you're able to just basically adapt them, that's good. God, I forgot how many encounters there are in this place. Well, luckily I can dispatch these guys pretty quickly. The Werehog is bigger than most sprites, which creates problems. Uh... Oh, I have a lot of ethers. I've been saving these things. I'm glad about 99 tonics. You have an issue with the skid where he clips through the ground. Yeah, well, at least you're at the point where you can just deal with the issues and kind of move on from there. Rocket roll! Go down this way. Mm -mm -mm. I think we're st oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, nice. That was the best place. Silver stud? Also, silver stud. Oh, it's this. MP use cut by 50%? What? Ooh, what is that gonna be good for? Anybody right now? I don't know if that's going to be super practical right now, but... I mean, we're just missing out on... basic... basic... things. Probably Robo? I mean, there's really no harm in using this thing right now. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Silver earring? Wait. Max HP up by 25%. Ooh. Probably better for the folks with lower HP. Oh, I gotta go up this way. Okay. Am I going the right way? I see a chest. <laughs> like, I, I genuinely hope I'm going the right way. 
Like I've opened that chest. been here. Okay. Going the wrong way. Use the item I found in that chest. I don't know what it was. I think it was a mid-tonic. Ooh, 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 all kind. Ooh, everything. I learned everything. Oh no. Oh no, this is good. You be looking in the shadows, no one sees you. Sean plays in the shadows. Shut up, get lost. Okay. Jeez. Guess I won't get lost then. I guess I will just kill you. Okay. So many things here. I just want the Masamune. The fact that his name has plays makes it less menacing. Sean plays inside of the shadows. Uh, I just want my Ninja Turtles. I just want my Fimo Clay and my Ninja Turtles. What are you doing? Mountains are nice. They're nicer when you're much closer to them, buddy. <laughs> Oops, total waste of ethers. Tata and the Frog. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Tata and the Frog. <laughs> what the fuck? I got a speed tab. Well, no going back from here. Got one shelter. I made a good call bringing Robo along here. He seems to be able to wipe parties pretty fast. Excuse me. No, I'm, I am going this way, actually. Hello, children. 
I'm the wind. Whoosh. Stop. Are you here for the Masamune? Yes. Thought so. Wait a second, okay? Oh, big brother, where are you, Masa? What is it, Mune? Not again. So you want to get a name for yourself by grabbing the Masamune? What a buffoon. They're so silly. It's how you use the sword that's important, not who owns it. Can't even understand something as simple as that. That's why you're human. What should we do? The usual test, then. You can entertain us for a while. Alright, here we go. Whoosh! Uh oh. So, um, these guys are cocks. It did a lot of damage. Whoa! That was like an X strike. Okay, so the X-Strike has a counter-attack, I see. And he's confused. That's awesome. Probably get rid of that right now. Probably get rid of that heal. Oh, they just got rid of it, damn it. What a waste. A palm. Fire punch. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, no you don't, no you don't, kids. No you don't, oh, oh kids. Oh thank you. Spin cut. Heart Masamune or pa oh oh. Time for the real battle. Hey, they're pretty tough. Only Cyrus made it this far. What should we do? This time it's for real. All right, this is it. Yeah, we need business. With Massa's bravery and. Mune's knowledge. Two become one. Fusion ha! Uh oh. When the boss music changes, you know you're in for some business. Cure Beam. Like you being this close to me.
pain. Yes, indeed. Saw that coming. Okay, we are going into cleric mode with Robo. Huh. The skid didn't even have a hitbox, huh? Good job. Okay, we are nice and healed up, otherwise this is going to be brutal. Pain. Yes, indeed! <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this right now. I know, I know you're counterattacking. I know this, I know that's how this works. Lucas about to get it how hard. Oh no, Chrono needs to shit. Oh man, this is one fast, tense battle. Chrono needs to shit. <laughs> Not again. Heal up. Pain. That was important, how? What? Robo, no! Ho ho ho, close call. Oh boy. Oh boy. Almost lost my healer.
having to climb up ledge animation very slow to make it feel like the Werehog. Oh god. This thing's gonna be brutal, man. And that was fun! Will they fix us? Will they find us an owner? Yeah, it'll be alright. I now have the Massa Mune, but I can't use it. So, the Masamune is not just a myth, but it has long been broken. I got the broken Masamune. It must be reforged.
My mic was muted. I don't remember... Oh! It's because I coughed at some point. And then I tried to unmute it, and then it didn't unmute. <laughs> Hi, guys. How you doing? Well, you didn't miss much. I did respond to... everything. I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm not being that quiet. Maybe it's because I'm tired. It was like two minutes. Well, at least it wasn't like 20 minutes. Okay. So, yeah, I know what I'm supposed to do here. Say, where's Melchior? Melchior. Melchior. Melchior! I'll add, like... A note to the VOD, making fun of myself. Sorry, but I'm out of the road peddling my wares. Please come back some other time. But the geese just gone when we need them the most. All right, I guess I am going back in time. Or I could just go to the Millennial Fair and show it to him. Does he respond to the Masamune if I go to the Millennial Fair? And now I must find the red rock. Which is back in old, old times. I did do a very, very bad Christopher Lloyd impression. The 1.21 gigawatts! <coughs> no. Not yet. At least it wasn't as bad. There have been other playthroughs that I've done where I'm like muted for 20 minutes. And I'm horrified when I go back and listen to it. Or it's like, it's, it's as bad as... Did a number on that throat of yours? Yeah, yeah, I'm still, I'm still getting over being sick. Or, like, I'll have my BRB screen up for, like, 20 minutes, which is even worse, because you can't even see the goddamn game. He's not here. Alright, I'm going back in time.
and I pump 1.21 gigawatts back in time. Well, nothing's happening here yet. Yeah, isn't there a cutscene that's supposed to happen, like, right here? That triggers the rest of the stuff? I do have to show the broken sword to Melchior, right? But where is he? I'm just trying to remember the sequence of events here. Because he mentioned something about... Needing the other piece of the sword to fix it. And that's what triggers the rest of the stuff. If I am not completely mistaken. Now you have you rethinking the steps. Yeah, and I'm, I'm starting to rethink the steps too. I mean, I could look it up, but... I haven't looked a single thing up for Chrono Trigger since I started this playthrough, so... I'm trying to just remember all of this stuff. It's been it's been several years since I played Chrono Trigger. I'll go back to Medina Village. Or no, where the fuck is he? I'll go to the Lean Square one again because he isn't in his house. Maybe he's... somewhere else? He's not in the Millennial Fair, either. Residence... it's my house. Residence... Kid in the middle. Yeah, I did the kid in the middle. Oh, do I have to speak to? Maybe I have to show it to him? Yeah, maybe I'm just I'm mixing up my event triggers here. Yeah, because I didn't speak to Tata at all. So I kept calling him the hero. I'll just I'll I'll cover all my ground. Which isn't that much ground to cover, but I'll cover it all. And luckily it doesn't take very long to burn through. No, I don't want to go to Protodome. Cook. Cook them all. Cook them all with your future powers. You're at Magus's castle in your playthrough right now? Yeah, and I'm not far off from there. That's probably gonna, gonna be its own stream entirely. I'm sorry, when some frog guy dropped this in a cafe, I thought I'd sell it, but then everyone started calling me a hero. I couldn't bear to get rid of it. <laughs> Here we go. Just can't figure it any longer. I'm no hero. I'm so ashamed. Here, please take this. There, there it is. Scoundrel! I knew this was a sham. 
I'm gonna have fallen for that. You're my dear depart for my dear departed wife's sake, I vow to keep my feet on the ground. Goodbye. Now we speak to the frog. And receive the frog, I believe. The hearth returns, the, the hero medal. Aye, and thou hast seen the lad. Yet there are nary thing I can't do against Magus. The legendary Masamune is required to fight Magus, and I've no right to wield it. Please leave now. Ah, it's full of music. A broken sword, it's part of the Masamune. What's up, nerds? Hey, what's up? What's up, Broderick? Something is written in archaic script. I will translate. Oh, yeah, Melchior backwards, I see. Roy Clem? Ron Zertnert? System error, I reversed it. It says Melchior. Melchior? That guy in Medina Village? Aha. The event has now been triggered. Did you just say no instead of no? I don't know. You need to sleep forever. All misuses of no, no, there, there, and there, your, your, and your is, are punishable by death. And or self-imposed exile. Possibly leading to death. Corno's Max Cyclone. I haven't used the Max Cyclone yet. Yep, that's a Max Cyclone, alright. Robots have data banks, so yeah, reasons, yeah. It's like a mistake that's okay to make if you're six. Anything later is unacceptable. Well, eventually you end up medicated and start making stupid mistakes again. Or th at least that's an excuse. Alright. Now we go back to Medina Village. It took 7 minutes and 16 seconds for Lava Reef Act 1. Good god. Full playthrough should be fun. Okay, Melchior. He's back magically. You're back again. Come to see my collection of weird heads. Use meds all the time, so it's okay for me. Me too. Messes with my memory. And other such skills. This sword, it's the Masamune. How did you get it? Why would your name be engraved on the sword? Oh, this music. It's a long story. You do want to hear the story, right? Of course, tell us about the Masamune. Is it possible to reforge it?
Also punishable by the forcible reading of Charles Dickens' reading of A Tale of Two Cities. Read by Andy Kaufman. Hmm, it might be possible if we could get our hands on some Dreamstone, which the sword is made of. Dreamstone, no data in my memory banks of such a rock. While Andy is fapping. <laughs> and also, wrestling women, for some reason. Doing all three such things. You can't find it anymore. It was a red stone that was once used as money. Unfortunately, it hasn't been available for a very long time. A very long time, as a matter of fact. Oh, no, we don't need to go to that elder's house. This is where we need to go. Bye bye See ya. Do a quick little pit stop, shall we? She's so lonely. The rare red rock. We must find the red chaos emerald. Sound of going through that door now, you know where dubstep started. Thank you, Yasunori Mitsuda. Here it is. They're all green and scaly. That's that's politically incorrect. Half human, half dinosaur, and unlikely life form. Oh, reptites. I believe these things are quite tough. That old purpose taken care of a real good. What type of underwear are you wearing? Will you stop asking me that? I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a long time. It's also been no time whatsoever. Napalm. Napalm the fuck out of these things. I received a pedal. Marl, I would like to make a bargain. We're outnumbered! Look who's coming! Yes! Who is that woman? Her fighting capabilities far exceed those of humans. Now they're after us. Haha. Uh -huh. And the cat is snoring. What the? Do not upset her, she's rather agitated right now. We're not looking for a fight. Corno! You strong, what name? Corno, huh? Good name. Me. Me. Ayla. Me Ayla. Ayla likes strong people, so Ayla like Corno. <coughs> I think she likes you, Corno. You strong too. Ayla respects strong people, men and women. Where have they been keeping her? Yes. Uh oh. 
Laundry was forgotten. I forgot to do my laundry too, but I'm a 30-year-old man who lives by himself. So it just sits there. You different, but strong too. It's because I'm a robot. Raw boots? <laughs> <laughs> What that? Ayla don't know. I would love to just rename him Raboot. It's a machine that looks like a man. What you say? No rubbish or Ayla, head go boom. Corno, where from? <coughs> oh no. It is beyond her grasp. We're from way after the day after tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> you funny. They look like funny people. It's no use. Come to village. We talk and eat. Dance. Eat. Fun. For no reason at all, I wish you named her Bureaucracy. Not enough characters. But, I could compress it down. Stone? Plenty stones. Here. There. At village. You take plenty. Kordo, come. Yoka village. This way. I mean, what do you know? You're in your 30s and you live by yourself? Yeah, me? It's, it's, you know, it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. Some days I feel like a man-child, other days I'm like, well... At least I am uh, able to support myself financially and do all the things that I want to do. And... No longer feel suffocated by somebody who doesn't allow me to feel like myself. That's when life really starts to open up, you know? It's a good deal. But, you know, then there's also that daily worry that, you know, especially in the area that I'm in, the real estate market is fairly volatile, and they could change zoning at any point, and the owners of my building could just decide, even though they're not the types of people that would do this, they could just decide, maybe we should sell this building so somebody could come in and build townhouses, or a condo, or something like that. So, luckily for me, I save money. Because <laughs> you just never know. One downside for me, too, is that I do have epilepsy, and even though I'm very, very low risk and I've only ever had a few seizures in my lifetime, my mom still wishes she could just wrap me in bubble wrap because I live by myself, and she has forced me to replace a few pieces of furniture with things that have soft corners, just in case. You know, which is smart. I replaced a shitty foot table with an ottoman, which is much more comfortable to put my feet on. And hey, I didn't have to pay for it. Somebody texted me, hey, address? And my <laughs> my initial reaction is, are you coming to my house right now? If so, wait. 
It's somebody I'm supposed to hang out with later. I am playing video games on the internet. Korno too slow. Korno come, Yoko Village, this way. Look at the world. Yoga Hut. <laughs> These people always looked like just a head with hair, and the face is literally just a giant mouth. He loved the names Kilwalla. <laughs> yeah, me too. There's some good enemies. Some good enemy names. You want to see Pretty Red Stone? Chief has. Chief's hat, north of village. You wear odd skins. I can take him off. <laughs> you would have, Reptites. I beat you up. Drink sweet water, grow strong when drink. No. Oh. It's one of them sweet waters. Good, Corno, come. Night soon and ready for party. Come, Corno. Oh, yeah, that's right. We party. Listen, all new friends here. Strong Matt, Corno. Friends of Corno, Robo, Luca. Nga. Now we dance. Look at them go. Oh, I can move. Give me a second. I'm going to shovel something in my mouth. Enjoy the music. to Bergman film Ayla. Give me just one sec. Okay. Her sentence structure is very similar to that of Russian. Interesting. Good music we passed down to many generations. Literally the same song was going to be played at the Millennial Fair. You outsiders, but Ayla give party. Why? Oh no, we have an existential one. Toss him out! Munga, munga, meeple, dance with the wind, meeple. <laughs> Yikes. This is no time to celebrate. He doesn't understand party. You're twisting my arm. What is she... And now she's... Cycling through food. Okay. Kono, eat, sing, dance. But I don't know what's food and what isn't food. Oh no, we're eating Kirby's animal buddies? I'm leaving. I'm not leaving. Sing and dance all night. I 
I would like to progress. Kono, you try special Jurassic pork soup. Good stuff. Ayla fight reptites. Their leader is Zala. Very smart. All in Yoka village. Fight. No fight. Go to Laruba village. Don't know where village is. Always hide. Zala wants to destroy Yoka and Laruba. But Ayla no lose. Only when Ayla dead give up. Enough. Eat corner today. Good day. Eat party. Sing. Dance. Mmm, Corno, you gotta try some poi. Spoon it up. You man or a mouse, dude, in one gulp. I am a man. <laughs> what an unpleasant substance and so many bugs in it. I like having the robot with me. The robot is making this fun. He doesn't understand this. I'm gonna have more poi. Torno, you look for red rock? Rare red rock sign of power. Ayla's strongest in Yoka village, so Ayla's rock. You want? You challenge Ayla. You win, then Ayla give to you. Challenge Ayla? Yes. Bring plenty soup. Party now, so eat. <coughs> wow. Corno and Ayla have soup race. The tickles have returned. Start now. Push A button much times. We must push much, much of the times. Enough, Corno. You win. I give you rock. Corno, eat plenty. Last bowl for health. Eat last bowl for health. Okay. Maybe eat too much. The fuckload of food, man. What happened? Good. Good morning. That soup seems to affect humans. What? Liar! I was a perfect lady last night, but why does my tummy hurt so- Oh, she's hungover. Hey, who made these footprints? It's gone! The gate key's been taken! These prints were left by the thief! Now we're stuck here forever! This isn't funny, let's go see Ayla! Wake up. Corner, you up already? Yeah. <coughs> Yikes. Too much soup. Sleep up stone. Sorry to wake you, but we've been robbed. W what must be reptites? Corner, come with Ayla. We settle with reptites. Who else come? Alright, we will do this. This will be our party. Someone from Village C, we go ask. Corno, come. Let's see, hold on. I don't have the sight scope. I'm gonna check something here. Let's do this for now. I don't think I really need the sight scope. It's not necessary, but you know. I would like to have th this party specifically right now. Power scarf. Oh, that is a huge hit. Nah, we're good. We have a silver earring. I forgot we have some good stuff. I'm 
the Werehog doesn't have an animation for pushing, but honestly, you can't be bothered whatsoever. It's still, you, you have other mechanics there. It's, it's solid. It's solid. Welcome, what you have? Bang, pedal horn. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. You bring multiple things of things and you get to trade. It's a unique thing of this particular time period. Kino, what you do? Say now! Hey, look, Kino take Korno stuff. Why take? Kino like Ayla best. Ayla like Korno, but Kino not like. Miss Ayla, please do not promote violence. Kino, you know why I punish? Ayla no like Kino. No, Ayla like Kino best. No more do bad stuff, okay? That wrong. Ayla. Sorry, Ayla. Sorry, Corno. Give back stuff to Corno. No, have... Reptites take. Reptites, where they go? I don't know, follow the footsteps. Run into trees, there! Ayla go to... Kino go back village. Kino protect village when Ayla not there. Okay, Ayla. Kino was man, so if Ayla die, Kino chief then. Ayla, you are gentle at heart. Chase reptites, get back Corno stuff. All right, here we go. Get back Corno stuff. For any sprites, you don't have faith in yourself. You can't. You're just going to put text that said "can't be bothered" because you're not putting that much in through <laughs> an April Fool's joke. It will add to the atmosphere. It's a mid tonic. All right, she will get very useful very quickly. Hello. She is tough. She does the damages. Gold Red Eaglet. Spews fire. Get the revive. Okay, okay, yes. Killwalla. <laughs> it is such a good name. Okay, so we can do multi-damage, we can do a lot of physical damage, we can do a lot of good healing. This is a good party. I just believe that the Red Tide speech is very erudite and say shit like I subscribe to the New Yorker. Yeah. They're the smart people of this world. But actually, they- I imagine they actually just sound like Gonzo. For all the gear, you'll need 9 petals, 15 fangs, 15 horns, and 21 feathers. Good to know. Thank you. I've never known that. Oh boy, is the cat snoring. Holy hell. I may not grind for all of it, but at least I know that I can come back if I so please. Oh, this is the dude that just throws people at things.
Hello. Stop throwing. Oh, that doesn't do too much damage here. Why, thank you. It's not what I wanted to do. We watched the first scene of Left Dead. Love, Death, and Robots on Netflix, strange but thoroughly enjoyable. Kind of like watching a small indie film fest. Intriguing. I've just been watching Terrace House. Nothing terribly intriguing about that, it's just Japanese reality television. Shot beautifully. Nice and wholesome and heartfelt. But, um, just pure entertainment, for entertainment's sake, in a lot of ways. Oh yeah, these things, these things have hides. One of those shows where it's like, you know how a reality, quote unquote, reality show like the real world has things that happen and then immediately after the thing that happens, the people involved in the thing that happens will start yakking at you on camera. Like, I can't believe he would fucking open the fridge and just eat my leftovers like that. But in this show, instead of having the people themselves tell you about these things, they have a studio panel of Japanese celebrities that are commenting on all this shit. Like, it's actually kind of cool, like... Before you can even ask the questions, like, they're already talking about the things. And, like, analyzing the different relationships. But, my friend Brandon turned me on to it. He kept talking about it, and I'm like, what the... Okay, fine, I'll give it a chance, and then I binge-watched it when I was sick. Have some stuff. There's some right here. Still some other things. Okay, go up and around. Probably get attacked. Mid tonic. I want to make sure I'm getting all the chests. Yeah, it looks like I got them all up here. Lots of fun and varied animation styles on it. Okay. I can get down on that. Oh yeah, I should probably get down, huh? The Red Tight Layer. Here we go. Here we go, Ringo.
Okay. Evil Weevil. Only the best names. Now, how do you deal with physical damage? Decently. I thought I'd announce now. If you guys are looking for an April Fool stream, I have one planned. Since I will be able to stream on Monday. This is one of my days off. Just so happens to fall on that day. It will be a game that people know and love. Something so very dear to their hearts. Is it like a joke game or something? I don't know. Is it? So nice of me to have a stream just for your birthday. Oh, that's so cool. Is it a game's repainted of a good game? I don't know, is it? I mean, in some way it kind of is. Or is it like Sonic 06 or something? No, it's not Sonic 06. I mean, that would be the easy way out. Probably not nearly as entertaining as Sonic 06. Probably a lot more grating than Sonic 06. But you'll just have to you'll just have to show up on Monday and find out what it is. It's probably not what you were expecting. April Fool's Day will be the fourth anniversary of you going back to Pennsylvania. Ah. Good God, that was four years ago. Wow. Now I should probably use the lightning on you, huh? I forget you have magic, Ringo. Lots happened in those four years. At least in my life. I'm sure in other people's lives as well. Four years can... Well, I guess four years can be very stagnant for uh, some people, depending on where they are in life. For me, it just happened to be... A time of stagnation, but also a time of incredibly rapid growth. Rock Helm, huh? But not really until the end of those four years. Rocket roll, rocket roll. Well, that's super cool, though. Well, if I don't see you then, then happy early birthday. dead inside, so it was okay. Uh, I have those same feels, bud. Once you reach this age, it starts to kind of... just kind of feel that way most days. Not in, like, a scary way, necessarily, but... 
It's just like, fuck. Really? Again? Oh well. This is one of the ways that I deal with it. It's only this year that I decided, well, you know, maybe I should start taking this a little bit more seriously. Streaming? Maybe. Myself? Nah. I mean, I am trying to further my own career aspirations and things like that, but I am who I am. Whatever. Four years of stagnation, yet rapid growth sounds like some sort of riddle that Gollum would have proposed to Bilbo where the answer was <laughs> getting fat. Yeah, I mean, it's all, I guess, relative to where you are in a lot of ways. For me, it was attributed to, I guess, school and, I guess, relationship woes. And then, you know, people in my circle that wouldn't stop dying. And then, oops, you still have epilepsy. Haha, <laughs> have fun having a grand mal seizure at work. And then, the fallout from all of that. gone. You're pretty much gone, too. But no. This year... This year will be a nice little rebuilding year for me, and then I think next year is gonna be... Hopefully, much more interesting, because I am trying to start... Freelance work. I'm trying to open up my schedule a little bit. I'd like to start doing more streaming. Because I found that I actually really enjoy this. I mean, I've always enjoyed it, but as I've done more of it, I've found that, hey, there's more I can do with this. And I like hanging out with people and playing games and adding other flavors to it. So. Why not keep doing it? You just finished doing dishes, so time to go eat food and play ESO after a long day busting rock and concrete. Yeah, it's getting nicer out, so I'm sure you have quite a bit of work around the farm to do. So, you take care of yourself. You decompress. Oh, yes. Nice, we got all the... All the techs, good. Roll a kick. And the cat attack is coming soon. Once we get frog, then we can get falcon hit. Actually, no, falcon hit is just... Is falcon hit with chrono? I can't remember. Patrick, is falcon hit with frog or is falcon hit with Ayla and chrono? I can't remember. Ayla and Chrono, yeah, that's what I thought. But it's it comes later. I just know that that's one of my favorite dual techs. Just mostly because of the coverage. Wait a minute, what's out this way? Wasn't there something else? What am I doing? I just remember it being very useful with the battle against Lavos at the very end. 
and also person, a particular queen. This looks familiar. Did I go back? No. Cool. Drill kick. Drill kick! Nice. God, that's right, there's a video. Oh great. I just wanted to get I just wanted to go through the thing. There's a video that I found today. And it disturbed me, amused me, and confused me. And I think I need to share it with you guys. Just to see if you guys can decode what the fuck is happening. So as soon as I hit a, a brief moment, go on. Yeah, give me just a sec here. I will. Uh, I will indulge you. And, oh, yep. Totally. Totally. Just went back to. We totally went backwards, didn't we? Yep. Fuck. We'll get through this, and then we will get rid of these mushrooms. Rocket roll, rocket roll. All I know is, um, I hope you guys know at least something about Drake and Josh. You don't need to know anything about the show specifically, but at least know, have a remote awareness of the property. So, found this. You know of his, his existence, yes, me too. All right. Let's pause the game real quick. This is kind of important. It's very, very weird. I will more than likely cut this out of the video because I'm worried that it'll get claimed. No. So, somebody please explain this to me. Let's see how, 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 let's see how
Does anybody know what the fuck they watched? Like, I feel like I wasn't supposed to watch that. Like, I feel like I... I wasn't allowed to watch that, and yet I watched it instead. Like, I just... <laughs> yeah, I was so confused. I watched it... Like, I looked up the person that it was based on. And it's a dead rapper that died last year. I'm like, what? Siri, what? Sirenek, really? What? Like, what? Who the fuck thinks of this shit? Like, it's not even that fun. It's just, it's weird. And then I'm like, re I'm like, okay, so, I don't know, like, I I feel like this is a joke that I'm not in on. And so I'm reading the comments. One of the comments being, in quotes, I sent it to a friend, because I sent the link to my friend Brandon, saying, what the fuck is this shit? And he said, fucking excuse me? Like, I feel like I just watched something I wasn't supposed to see. And he's like, I have to watch it now to- I'm too curious. And so I sent him this comment. On the- on the next episode, Megan eats... <laughs> Gekyume's foreskin. And he said, curiosity over now. So, like, there's nothing but confusion. So I looked up, what the fuck is Gekume? Gekume is a made-up word by the dude who was in that video that is supposed to mean, like, ascending to a higher level of existence or meaning. <laughs> Supposedly this dude, like, filmed himself, like, chopping off his foreskin or something? Like, I- it was the- what, like, what? Anyway, <laughs> here's Chrono Trigger. So some kid made this crap up? Like, yeah, so yeah, some- So some dude named Sirenek has been making weird meme videos and mashups for a couple of years now on YouTube, and so he drops this weird shit yesterday. It's a Drake and Josh parody, and it's with this dead rapper from last year. So your word for this is what? That's my word too. What's this? Could those apes have made something this advanced? Azala! Ah, oh, the apes have arrived. <laughs> You're nothing like Ayla. Tell me what this is at once. Okay. So, the video is there. If you're curious. Like, I don't understand, like... I guess you need some motivation. Come, Nisbel! Oh, Nisbel. Your life is now complete after seeing that video. I feel the same in some really weird way. It's like, I watched it multiple times for some reason, and I was just like, because it's just so bizarre. Does he take more damage when he- oh yeah, he does. Shit. That's why I have two healers. <laughs> and 
I before should be continuing to play Sonic Unleashed, but I actually play that mobile port. Oh god. That weird video called Fuck the Pain Away and it doesn't make a lot of sense, but you keep watching. That's the weird thing about these videos, is you just don't stop. It, just, it makes you wonder if there's something wrong with you for watching them continuously. Oh my god, he's doing more damage. What did I use? Oh, I forgot if I used lightning. Oh shit. I did. Oops. Rocket punch. Good thing I kissed myself. Gonna release the energy now. Yep. Even a few brain cells ripping away from your brain, but yeah. There's like strange, just just weird imagery in that. Like, pretty sure like it clips from the video of him, like, cutting his own foreskin off or whatever in the hell is going on. Like, I don't, I don't even know if that's real. Like, don't quote me on that. Like, it's just one of the... I don't even, like, consider it a meme because it's just so fucking bizarre. Robo just died. That's cool. Averted crisis. God, Nisbel sucks. You fight a Nisbel too at some point too. Thank <laughs> you. 
I gotta replenish my MP. Oh, fuck you. I didn't get it off in time. Please kill him. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Night, night. Use the lightning bites. I forgot I even had that. There we go. Oh my god. The, the ape's beaten Isbel. Give thing back to Corno now. But remember, we reptites will rule the world. Your days are numbered. I do not detect any damage. I fight any time, Azala. I don't know lose. Blech. You leave, Chrono. No fun for Ayla. Thanks, Ayla. I learned a lot from you. Sorry, Corno. I tried to be strong now, just like Corno. Come again, Corno. Party, eat, dance, fight, fun. Okay, bye-bye. Isn't that always true? Our days are numbered? That is correct. Alright, we'll be back very soon. Quite soon. As a matter of fact. Oops, no, it's not what I wanted to do. Not at all. I will napalm these two poor guys. Oh, I pulled the sight scope off of her, that's right. I was like, why can't I see the HP? Okay, that back on you, huh? around you jump oh we missed splat Hey guys, I'm just here in the end of time, just, you know, minding my own business.
Oops. I just realized something. You can make Knuckles have different level start locations, so you can make Hydra City impossible. Yes! You make that level impossible, damn it. Found some Dreamstone? Then I'll repair him with the Masamune. How on earth did you get the Masamune and the Dreamstone? Oh, don't tell me. I don't think my heart could take it. It'll take a little while to fix this. Come back in 3,000 years. <laughs> I'll lend hand. All right, then. Are you gonna fix it? Don't interrupt me while I'm conducting research. All right, bye. This corner of the Matsumune has not been fully repaired. To repair the Matsumune, we must process the Dreamstone and activate the sword. You work on the Dreamstone, and I'll work on the sword. Okay, leave it to Luca the Greats. It's one of my favorite tunes, by the way. Alright, it's done. Now bring me the Dreamstone. I'm done here, too. Processed in a mug. Alright, let's get started. It's gone horribly wrong. We're dead. Sorry to keep you waiting. Look at that. Take a good look. This is the Masamune. For some reason you really hate Luca. Well, I think that's everything. Go on, let us take the Masamune to Frog. Why, cause she's a smarty pants. We'll take the sword to Frog and we'll call it a day. I keep going to the Elder's House. Because this is a really good checkpoint. Because the sequence that occurs after this is quite lengthy. Quite, quite lengthy indeed. And epic. Oh, why did I go to 2300? Yeah. Next stream of Chrono Trigger will be entirely Magus's castle. One of the best parts of the game. And in my opinion, it's when the game starts to really pick up. But that's the thing about Chrono Trigger, like, at no point does it feel like you're really slogging through much, like... I think if any... if there's any point where it reaches that, it's maybe like the time egg sequence. But even then, like... Nothing in this game takes very long to do. 
That's one of the things I love so much about Chrono Trigger, is that you can... You can burn through it really quickly and feel like you've accomplished so much. Like, 20 hours in Chrono Trigger is so different than 20 hours in a lot of other games. There's a new here. What are you doing here? Stop it, you dog! To see again. Sword, tis the Masamune? I must ponder this turn of events. Remaineth here to the night. Cyrus, are you leaving? Yes, it is time we took back the medal from the Frog King. And I'd like to see that mythical sword for myself. But Cyrus, the kingdom needs you, and Lean and I need you. You must return to us. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall return. By your leave. So Cyrus. We the knights of the square table wish you a safe journey. This kills me. The square table. And it's even funny too, because, you know, square soft and all that too. Yep. <laughs> Listen well, my friends. I now entrust the safety of the kingdom to you. Pardon the delay. Shall we be off? And you be careful, too. We have sound health, your majesty. I work with people that look like that. And that. So you want the badge of courage, dear knight of the kingdom? Well, come and take it if you can, Grimmit. Prepare yourself, Polywog, on guard. Nirvana strike. Jack, how do you pick on a helpless amphibian? Filthy metal, I won't forget this. Gah! Beware, Glenn. Cyrus, the sword, the Masamune. Kaha, <laughs> is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing. Ugh, you haven't beaten me yet. Cyrus, I'm a goner. Let us escape while I keep them at the bay. But, but, if we stay, they'll get us both. Go on, Glenn. You better worry more about yourself, Cyrus. Come on, Glenn, go! Ah! <laughs> Cyrus! Run, Glenn. The Queen, take care of Lean. <laughs> Cyrus! Cyrus! He dead. Huh. What's the matter? Aren't you going to try your luck? Ha <sighs> ha got your tongue, kid. How about it, Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Alright, why not? There's always time for a little fun. <sighs> he dead, he dead. Real good. Yep. Sabah's dead. Gah, you spineless wimp! Not comfortable. Not in the least bit comfortable. Uh-oh.
Ten years have passed. Can I do it? Changed so much. Alas, poor Cyrus. Awaketh Corno. Thou we may fail, let us go to Magus's lair. Thou knowest his power? Nothing can beat science. We must do it to save our future. I'll just keep it like this for now, and I will decide what I do at the beginning of the next stream. I'm gonna get out of here and save. That's right. Fucking get out of my way. I need to leave. Oh, come on. Hi, Harry 311. You're here right at the end. Gotta go. <laughs> literally, literally at the end of my stream, pretty much. Stop counterattacking me. Just die. Okay. I'm gonna save my game. And then next time... Next time, we will take on Magus's castle. Well, that was fun. Aside from the technical difficulties at the very beginning, that hopefully me and number seven are the only ones who saw, but 